Well, to begin, Hajj is in fact one of the five central pillars of Islam, which the religion is founded upon. It's an obligation upon every able-bodied and financially capable Muslim, both male and female, to be completed at least once in a lifetime. The entire journey takes place over a period of several days in the Islamic lunar month of the Hijjah and includes a series of symbolic rites and rituals, many of which were in fact initiated by the great Prophet Abraham and then laid out directly by Prophet Muhammad wasallam himself. The center point of Hajj is the Kaaba, also known as God's sacred house in Mecca. It was originally built by Prophet Abraham at a time when Mecca was nothing more than a secluded desert in the middle of nowhere. God nevertheless promised Abraham in the Quran that this desolated house would soon receive visitors from around the world in their masses. And today it's quite clear to see that this promise is nothing short of a reality. The overall journey is said to be a purifying process by which a Muslim becomes closer to God through patience, perseverance, submission and servitude. The pilgrimage at times can also be physically enduring and God specifically urges Muslims in the Quran to exercise patience during the days of Hajj through avoiding any argumentation and sinful behavior. In its pure form, Hajj makes no distinction between the rich and the poor. All people, regardless of their social status, are required to complete the same rituals under the same guidelines under the same hot sun. This includes all men being limited to two unstitched pieces of cloth and all pilgrims being prohibited from perfume, intimacy and many other luxuries of life. Hajj is also a long-awaited opportunity for many Muslims to obtain forgiveness for their lifelong sins and to return back to their homes with a cleansed heart. On the day of Arafat, the most important day of the pilgrimage, pilgrims will in fact stand from noon to sunset begging for God's mercy, forgiveness and His pleasure. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in fact informed us that the one who performs Hajj properly by abstaining from sexual intimacy, avoiding sin and leaving argumentation, then he shall return from Hajj pure and free from sin, just as the day his mother gave birth to him. The Prophet وسلم, also informed us that the reward for an accepted Hajj is nothing less than paradise. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept the Hajj of the pilgrims this year and that he makes their journey safe, blessed and accepted. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all the opportunity to fulfill this pillar of Hajj, this journey of a lifetime. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.